Hi, it's Dave Robison with PlantCoverCrops.com. It's the last week of October uh, 2014, and I'm in Wapaka County, Wisconsin, which is kind of north central Wisconsin between Stevens Point and Green Bay. And I'm out in a cover crop plot, and a couple of weeks ago we had a field day here, and we did some root pit digging, and I'm back in the region today and looking at these plots again, and it's been significant growth in the last 10 days, uh, warm weather and, and some moisture uh, we've had here. What I want to look at here, right here in the center, this is uh, spring barley. And we've started utilizing this a lot in Wisconsin the last couple of years based on test plot work that's been done by Legacy Seeds. And we found that um, we're getting significantly more growth on the barley than what we do right here on the oats. And it's not that we don't have good growth on the oats, but you can see there's uh, probably about four to six inches additional growth uh, on the oats. And uh, the fellows, at least those that are flying on with an airplane, seem to like the ballistics better with the barley. And that's worked out real well. It's very aggressive out of the ground and uh, also has very similar uh, rooting depth as what the oats do as well. I uh, don't know for sure, and we're going to be doing some more testing on this, of uh, how uh, winter hardy the barley is compared to the oats. So we've put together some other mixes as well. And uh, this mix here is uh, spring barley with uh, a variety of different brassicas. There's radishes, there's uh, turnips, there's hybrid brassicas, and there's also uh, uh, dwarf Essex rape. And in this mixture, what we're looking for is to get a, a, a fair amount of biodiversity to find out what kind of uh, growth that we'd be able to get uh, both for planting, not for planting depth, but rooting depth, and then also rooting types. So we're looking to get a significant amount of, of root depth, also looking to get a fair amount of uh, diversity so that we can have more and more earthworms, we can have deeper roots, we can have broader roots. Some of our uh, crops, like our our uh, uh, forage rape uh, will, will probably live longer than what we see on our um, uh, radishes and uh, possibly on our turnips as well. So we're looking to get a variety of different, um, uh, <laughs> I guess, chemistry within the soil, biology within the soil, so that we can have a better uh, opportunity to scavenge as much nutrients as possible to get as much deep roots as possible, as many roots as possible. When we did our root pit dig in here a couple weeks ago, we found a uh, significant amount of earthworm presence and uh, again, uh, deep roots up to 30 inches deep already on our radishes, our, our turnips were already close to 20 inches deep. Our uh, grasses, uh, uh, whether it was the oats or the barley, were already over 20 inches deep, uh, very fibrous roots. So. Again, spring barley is the basis of these two mixes, and then oats over here is our comparative crop, and I think that we're gonna continue to find that barley is a uh, cover crop of choice for many producers in Wisconsin. Dave Robison, plantcovercrops.com.